Black torch gripped between your fingers' wet wounds. Come now, like you once came to my wedding. Bring death to the bride. Bring death to the groom's father. To the whole royal family. The groom. I have worse punishment. Let him wander unknown lands. Alone. Scared. Hated. Home. Less when he is known, known as an immigrant. Let him knock on strangers' doors, longing for me to stand by my side. Let him, I can think of nothing more perfect. Let him yearn for the sight of his children. Looking both like their father and mother. Part is already done. Part of my revenge. to myself? Is there anyone there? Maybe I should do it myself. Tear the torches from their hands. Crash the sun into the earth. How about this? I carry a bridesmaid's torch to the temple myself and after the sacrificial prayer slit the throats of the happy couple over the altar, reading their guts for revenge. If you're still alive, Medea, if any of your old fire remains, throw out womanish fears. Let your mind soak up its former wildness. Unspeakable deeds, untested, unthinkable, sick. I turn over evils in my mind, food for fear in both heaven and earth. Wound, slaughter, slow creeping death. But this is all too light. I did these things as a girl. My pain should strike me more deeply now. Now that I'm a mother, now that I've given birth, Greater crimes become you now. Rise, anger, rise. Prepare yourself for destruction. Drink in madness. Drown in madness. And let the story of your rejection match the story of your union. How should you leave your husband? The same way you hooked him. Leave slow delay. The house that you built on crime must now be torn down.
marriage. Dead, poisoned by his bride's wedding gift. Anchias! No, by a savage boar! Meliagus! Slain by his mother! Infant, who, who could see the future, did not see his servant killer!
comes Lydia. Who's that knocking at my door? Oh, the Pelagian king himself. Creon, you get fatter with self-love every day. Poisonous as ever, my dear. For what she's still doing here, she'll be scheming something, no doubt. Her tricks are legend, her hands horror. Who would she choose to spare? Who would even haunt by her crimes? I wanted to cut out that cancerous core with steel. But Jason, my son-in-law, begged me. I granted him a life, and now she must just go. Leave this land to save her place. Breathe from her yoke of fear. Ah! Oh, see where she comes at me, wild-eyed. Trying to get at me, get close to me, <laughs> keep her well away from me. I don't want to see or hear her. She must learn sometime to bend to the word of a king. Be gone! Leave this land! Cleanse this kingdom once and for all of your evil. What crime, tell me, throws me into exile? An innocent woman speaks not of crime. If you're a judge, let's have a hearing. If you're a king, command. Just or unjust, you bow to the power of a king. Unjust rule never lasts long. Get out! Take your plate to Colchis. I'm going. But he who carried me away should take me back. Too late. I've already given my verdict. No matter what the verdict, he who passes sentence without hearing both sides of the story is wrong. I'm sorry. Carry on. We must, of course, give space to your watertight defense. <laughs> I know how difficult it can be to turn the heart from anger. <coughs> how keenly it feels to hold firm once you've felt the cold power of the scepter throb from hand to proud hand. I saw it in my father's kingdom, though I am ruined now, an exile, alone, abandoned, from every direction attacked. Once upon a time I shone. I shone in the light of my father's power and in the light of his father, the mighty sun. Every field fed by the weaving phasus, every peak visible across the Scythian deep, every marsh rich estuary that sweetens the salty coast to where the Amazons press the banks of the Thermodon. All this is my father's kingdom. That glory and famous flower of the Greeks, the keepsake of the Argo, the gift from the gods. It was I, I who saved it. My gift to you was Orpheus, who melts rocks, moves forests with his song. I brought you Castor and Pollux. I saved the whole crew of the Argo. You see, I don't even mention the prince of princes. For him, your son-in-law, I claim no reward. No one could give it. You see, for the good of Greece, I brought the heroes home. For myself, I brought him. The only crime for which I can be tried is the return of the Argo. Condemn the accused by all means, but give her back her crime. I'm guilty. I'll admit it. Yeah, I'm dangerous. That when you took me in, when I knelt before you with my suppliant palms, begging you for protection, for a home. I ask only for a small corner, a house in this land where I can live in my misery. If you banish me from the city, let me live at least in some dark, remote spot at the edge of your kingdom. I'm not one to wield power violently. Nor am I one to tread on misery when she is down. I think I've demonstrated this quite clearly in my previous actions. For example, receiving an exile as my son-in-law. Jason had no hand in these crimes. Without you, he is simply not guilty. When you're gone, no blood stains his innocent hands. He did not hold the sword that cut. Far from your side he stands, pure. You, you directress of vengeance horror, who has the woman's evil to dare anything, to do everything. Leave, purge my kingdom, free my citizens of fear, rile the gods from some other land. You're forcing me to flee. Then give me back my ship. Why do you order me to flee alone? I did not come here alone. That is not my crimes. I've committed so many crimes, but never for me. 
mother dragged down her innocent children. Go! I shall take good care of them, treat them as my own. By the blessed bed of this royal wedding, by the dreams of their future happiness and the health of a kingdom tested as ever by fortune's whim, I pray, please, grant me a little time before I leave for me to kiss my children for the very last time as a mother, perhaps dying. You only want time to plot. What treachery could you fear in such a short time? No time is too short to do harm. Would you deny a grieving woman time to let her tears run dry? If you have not left this land by daybreak, you will lose your head. My daughter's wedding calls me back. I must attend the celebrations. When forefathers lived in golden days, when crime they hid a world away, save what their native soil turned up, they knew no riches, lacked no wealth. They consumed domestic bliss alone, possessing no things. Had everything. Audacinium qui feta primus, rate tam fragili perfida rupit. Brave fool. <coughs> First man who broke the spiteful sea with wood, scratched ocean, no set porous. Gambled life on inch thick force. With sacred land he trusted his soul to a toy full gust of wind. Fear too thin the line between past and death. And life, not yet what constellations known. Stars that smudge the night time sky still shone. Not yet to plough by a dry heaven, nor pole star bear a name. Are those helm first dared to cast white canvas to the billow winds? Dared to write them laws. Catching breast in a single sheet, tickets reef the main in year. In calm seas, clothed the sky with sails. Are those shackled different lands, lashed to the deep with oars? She turned the once benign edge into fear, and fear of death. The tainted ship suffered a sea of pain. Crushed between clashing cliffs, the crush made ocean rain that day. Rain on the stars, even the clouds. Orpheus clouds. Liar Jan. Argo lost her voice. Then Skiller, barking bitch. Too many heads, too much bite. Remember the siren? Lullaby fixes. Orpheus may fix them in song. What was it, was it all for? The golden fleet. And Medea. I swear, Mari Medea, Malum.
children won, their father lost. Even she, I think, wild though she is at heart, would put her children first before her marriage. I must face her. I must make peace with her, soothe her. Toto in voto es bolo. Her whole face is pain. Boogiemus, Jason. Boogiemus! I have fled before. There's nothing new about moving house. But why are we moving? The why is new. I'm used to running away. But to protect you. To save you. Since you're driving me away from your new home, I'm going. But where exactly do you expect me to go? Back to Bassus? Should I seek out Colchis, my father's lands? The lands whose fields I stained with my brother's blood. <laughs> Do you forget the breath of the fire breathing bull? Or the breathless army to set on me? I have saved you so many times! Have you forgotten the golden fleece? How we stole it thanks to my herbs, the herbs that drugged the monster that never slept. How I murdered my own. Surely that's got to be worth something. What about all the other lads I fled and sealed up behind by horrible crimes? Seriously, where should I go? You sent me into exile, but there's nowhere for me to go. But where I'm going? The royal son-in-law commands it. I'm not trying to defend myself, carry on punish me. God knows I deserve it. Let the anger of a king fall on your wife. Sorry, ex-wife. Sorry, other woman. Sorry, throw away her! Weigh down her arms in chains and bury her alive in eternal night. It would be like punishment for what I've done. You are oh, beautiful! Right. Fuck! For your children's future. For the safety of your home. By the monsters I've killed with these very hands. Hands that for you I've never kept clean. By our fears swept aside. By the sky and the waves that witnessed our marriage. Pity me! In Colchis, riches flooded through our doors. Our house groaned with gold. We used to hang it from the trees like fruit. And I left. Nothing. Apart from little pieces of my brother, 
and I even threw them away. Do you? Do you? I lost my father. I left my homeland. I lost my brother, my innocence. Give me back what is rightfully mine. When Creon flew into a rave and threatened to kill you, I stopped him with my tears and begged him instead for your exile. I'm sorry, how stupid there. I was thinking it was a punishment. Now I see it was a gift. Why do you leave? Well, you saw the chance. I accuse you of murder and deceit. But of what crimes can I actually be accused? All those that I have committed. Genius, I'm guilty of your crimes. They are yours. He who has profits from this crime is responsible for the crime. Though the world condemns me, you alone should call me innocent. Stop this anger. Why don't you go and see your children? Comfort them. What children? I disown them.
In fact, what she could not possibly do. I have a robe, a gift from the sun god himself. I have a necklace too that gleams in two toned gold and a matching tiara. Take these as gifts to the happy bride.
shot down by arrows steeped in blood of the hydra's sutured wound. The flames burn high, the, the tripods move, in movements all their own. Hecate's here, I can hear her now, the fire's unnatural roar. I see the moon charge free into white sky, grim face sickled as she drives through the night. Close she keeps to the pallid horizon, casting a dim light deep in the dusk. Dipped in a new moon, terrifies the townsmen. People of Corinth make the air sound bronze. Here our help will chase away the witches, power whose spells are impelling from the night. You I call with the sweet smell of fresh blood. Come to your altar where I soil and pray. To please you, Hecate, I banish the darkness, lighting this fire with the funeral torch. You I have danced and sung for my whole life, shaking my head with my eyes rolling white. For you I have bound wild hair in a low knot, waving a dead branch from the Stygian stream. For you, like a mine, as I bore my bare chest, scoring my veins with the same crippled aid. Look how my blood runs clean on the altar. Much how I practice your holy art. Well, might you say that I call on you often? Please don't be angry and settle for me. Jason, it is who bids me to call you. Jason, the man who punished you first.
How many of you have children in that hall? Is that the joke? <coughs> Hold on. Everything I make with him is hers. My children are Kreus's children. Yes. Yes, that has a ring to it. I can see it now. My children. Once my children. Pay the price for your father's crimes. Core, head good. Core, my arm. Eyes. Legs. I. It pulls like a stuck drawer from my chest. Anger. Kids. Here, children. Mother's here. No longer alive. Alive. Never again. I want you to cut some skin. Shed the bright blood of my boys, the blood of my own children. Leave me, tainted madness! Keep away from me! They've done nothing wrong. I'm the crime of it. The crime is Jason, to have Jason as a father, and the greater crime still to have Medea as a mother. They must die. They are not mine. They are mine. They must die. But they're innocent. They haven't an ounce of guilt between them. More than my brother. Why so unsure, Medea? What's this? Tears on your face? Anger pulls you one way, love the other. Like a hollow standing wave when the solid wind hits. No breath attacks. And the white waves cut each other on the torn away backs of the swollen black sea, screaming and tearing itself apart. Children. Soul joy in a sad house. Come here. Hold your mother tight. You're safe now. We have to leave. I feel it. They're coming. Any moment now, they will be taken from me, torn out my arms, in that screams and tears. I will not let him kiss them. Not if I can't. If I can't have them, no one can have them. Feel the pain, Russia. Oh, how the hatred burns! Ancient furies, seek my hand! What is this faint cloud of furies making circles before my eyes? For whom do the flames lick their lips? Whom do the undead witches threaten, seek out with their blood-black fire? I know that snake, fat and hissing, coiled around Megara's gold. What does she want? What is that she fear? A body broken. Open at the joints, wet with abject gore. It's my brother, mouthing revenge. I'll give him more than he deserves. Melt out my, my eyes with torches, mutilate my body, burn me. My chest lies bare to the fury's power. Keep them away from me, brother. Send the spirit back! Well, 
done is done. That's it. I didn't ask for it. Didn't even know I wanted it. But there it is. Oh, feel the warmth rush up. Look, feel how it grows in me. That was a missing ingredient. The eyes of that man. I think we'd better start again, don't you? Without him, my crimes have been wasted. Look, there she is. Bring your fire here. She will fall and burn in her own flames. That the fire high, Jason. They are needed soon, too. But there's time for that. There wasn't much left to cremate of your wife or father. So I had them buried. I hope you don't mind. This, sir, this one here, is dead. This one is about to die. Did you be able to watch this time? By all the gods in the sky, I never betrayed you, my dear. Spare our son. If one murder had been enough for this hand, I wouldn't have lifted a finger. Even if I killed two, I won't even get close to making up the pain that you've caused. If something was to stir even now in my womb, I'd cold my flesh with steel and cut out its hope for life. Go on then, finish what you started. I've no more prayers for you. Get on with it! Pompey, don't let him rush us. We must savor this one. Evil woman, kill me. Me, not him. Are you asking me to pity you? <laughs> Oak. You know the story. Here, take your 